Good morning, Sunday School. This is the Sunday School lesson for Sunday, January 10th, where we celebrate the baptism of Jesus. Let's pray. We thank you, God, for baby Jesus, the angels, the shepherds, the wise men that we talked about during Christmas. And we thank you for giving us all of these things because you love us. Amen. Today, the story is about a grown-up Jesus. So we go from having a baby Jesus to having a grown-up Jesus. And today, Jesus gets to meet his cousin, John. And John's work was baptizing people and getting them ready to hear the message that Jesus would bring. Jesus has not been baptized yet, so he comes to John and asks him to baptize him. Well, John has a different way of baptizing. He went right into the water in the river, and Jesus went into the river with John. And when Jesus was baptized, both John and Jesus heard God say, I am so glad you are my son. So, we're going to talk about a couple of ways that we can celebrate this day that Jesus was baptized. One of them is drawing with chalk uh, that you may have dipped in water. You can use it without water. Just use it dry if that works for you. There's a paper in the Sunday School newsletter that has a prayer on it. And this prayer says, and I have it up here on my paper, God of new beginnings, in the waters of baptism, we receive your Holy Spirit and become one with Jesus. Help us to live as children of God, filled with your heavenly love, so that all the people and creatures of the earth may live happily as one family. Amen. And what I'd like you to do in this particular um, activity is to find some chalk. I have a blue chalk and I have a yellow chalk. And you might also want a different color. So let me see what else I have here. I have a red chalk. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to dip the blue chalk into some water. Or like I said, you can use it dry too. And we're going to make what looks like a river. And you can see that by putting it in water, it creates a different sort of line. It's kind of fun. And so I'm going to make the river with my blue chalk that I dipped in the water. So there's my river. Can you see my river? And then I'm going to make a sun up here. The water just makes it look a little crinkly and I'm going to fill it in. And then we are going to draw a person. Now I'm not much of an artist in terms of people, so I'm going to draw a stick figure, two of them. One of them is Jesus, who will be baptized, and one of them is John. So let's draw Jesus. He probably had on a, a robe of some kind and hair. He probably has some longer hair there. And then I'm going to draw John. And we know what John wears, right? Because we heard that John wore sackcloth with a belt, right? And sandals. Well, if they're in the river, they probably don't have their sandals on. I'm gonna, I think I'll give John some kind of spiky hair. If you want to draw a picture of someone that you've seen being baptized, that's fine too. The other thing that we need, and let me see if I have a color I might use. So we kind of need some clouds in the sky because they're a big part of our story today. Let me see if I can make some big clouds that you might be able to see. I'm not getting much out of that piece of chalk. So maybe I'll use some more blue. Some different blue. 
And I want to make some clouds, right? Some puffy clouds. And why is that? Because in the story today, what we hear is that God parts the skies. And so think of the clouds separating. And he says in a very loud voice, I am so glad that you are my son. And when we're baptized, we also might hear God say, I am so glad that you are now my child, a child of God. So that's our first activity. Have some fun with that. Do some drawing. Send me pictures. Have your parents take pictures. That would be great. The second activity for today is to make some happiness stones. The, the um, Sunday school story for today is called Scribble Stones, and it's about stones that become stones that are given to others. So the whole theme of Epiphany is to be a gift and to give a gift. And so I have a, I have a couple of stones that I've made before. So this one has some birds and the waves reminding us that we live near an ocean. And then on the back, it says God's creation, blessings. And then I have one more that has a leaf on it and it says give thanks. And what you might do is to put these out in your yard. That's where mine have been so that people who walk by can see them and they are blessed to see the beauty. Or you might with your parents walk to a neighbor's house and set them on their front porch so that when they come out, they're given a blessing by your beautiful artwork. So think about that. Maybe think of other ways that you might be a gift to someone else or to your community. So one of those ideas might be to take a trash bag and go to the beach and pick up trash and then throw it away. The idea of giving is sometimes about giving without others knowing that you're giving. So maybe you have chores around the house and maybe you do a chore that isn't yours normally and you do it at a time when it's not expected so that that's a, a real gift to your mom and dad. So think about that. Think about being a gift and offering a gift. So have fun this week. Enjoy the activities that you will be doing. And let's pray before we go. Make sure that you're saying prayers each day for your family, for your friends, for those who are sick, for our first responders, for our doctors and nurses, and those who have been affected by fire and floods and thunder and tornadoes and hurricanes, all those things. And we say today, Heavenly Father, we thank you that by water and the Holy Spirit, you have bestowed upon us, your servants, the forgiveness of sin and have raised us to new life of grace. Sustain us, O Lord, in your Holy Spirit. Give us an inquiring and discerning heart, the courage to will and to persevere, a spirit to know and to love you, and the gift of joy and wonder in all your works. Amen. St. Paul loves you and misses you, and we can't wait to be together again. Send us pictures of what you're doing. We so enjoy getting those. God bless you and keep you this day and forever. Amen.